be like a, an immersion here or something and there's a socket down there which is surface which is always a uh, you know you always think oh why is it surface you know is it extra ah, there you go cool so that's what that does a radial that probably used to do an immersion here and now it's like a surface socket where the heater used to be all right i don't imagine this circuit having any issues on the insulation resistance so i'm just gonna quickly check as it just has one socket i'm imagining this is going to be pretty clear so that's liner neutral yeah liner cpc smash in uh, cpc in line cool it'll hold on our rcd i'm happy with those results IR line to CPC was something like 5.6 something. So now I'm doing neutral to CPC. Similar result. It's probably something connected. That's roughly the same result as I had neutral to uh, line to CPC. Anyway, mark that down, the highest result. Right, just moved on to circuit four, which is, I'm predicting is the upstairs ring. 0.92 which was on a uh, like a, a 15 amp fuse wire uh, 0.92 rn 0.24 line Oop. and so cpc so that looks about right so the line and the cpc is about right so the neutral reading is quite high a lot higher so it's probably a loose connection but perhaps that's why the previous sparky dropped it to a 15 i don't know further investigation required i reckon so i've linked out the r1 r2 18 that after the calculations on my phone in a bit really high I might have a look behind that socket have a quick check get my torch you're seeing this for the first time just as I am Is it? Oh, oh, there it is. <laughs> I thought, what the fuck's that? It looks like a neutral in the earth terminal. Actually, yes. it is. Someone's used. Oh, I see. So I think the ring is terminated at the back, and then someone has put like a little bit of, like an off cut of neutral, sleeved it with earth. But look at the fucking state of that. It's got loose eyes. All right, two seconds while I just hold it while I tighten it. So we had one point something before, didn't we? So let's see what we get now. Right. Look at that. Simple, easy fix. Yeah, that was that was all good. I'll quickly um redo the uh ring final test down at the board just to check if what I did may have uh, although it didn't appear loose may have corrected it but I doubt it but we're going to check now all right so that's that circuit four where I had 0.9 something on the RN and two something on the R1 so I've as I said there's only four sockets on there so I've gone around nipped them all up all the neutrals check they're on the copper they appeared so um so let's just check again just double check all right let's set our one because they were on a 15 amp fuse wire before that sounds good oh fuck yes see you could have just left it i suppose but there were so few sockets on it i thought i'd do it 
See, now that can go back on um, to a ring final, to a 32 amp protector device when the board upgrade happens. But yeah, that was fair play. Just goes to, just goes to show the, uh, the importance of checking your connections, making sure you're on the copper and on the uh, insulation. That is obviously what was causing it. I basically removed the conductors, make sure that the copper is in the terminal and then re-tightened them. And now I've got the result. So whatever the previous spark he did, obviously, I don't know, he obviously tested it and went, oh, got high reading, drop it to a 20, which is not ideal. I don't like that. Like that is an absolute, in my opinion, that's not the correct way you should, you should do things. If you have a loose connection and it's showing up a, a, on a ring and one of them is really high, I don't think dropping it to a 20 is the best way you should find the fault you know that's a loose connection somewhere somewhere on the circuit and you're just going oh well we'll reduce a load it'll be all right but there's a loose connection on there anyway i may be wrong I need four sockets on that circuit four so um insulation resistance i imagine it's pretty good because it's just four sockets um i'll do the line uh line and cpc as well Ooh, fuck me Down there. Nice. A neutral to line, which normally we might get a dish but I don't think there's anything connected. Nice. Cool. Next circuit. Pull down the shower isolator, and that doesn't look good. Signs of overheating. Loose connection. Uh. Right, I've linked out that circuit at the far end the one that was the 30 amp fuse wire in the in the uh six amp fuse carrier or five amp fuse carrier let's get on there properly shall we lawrence yeah. nice and low yeah. it's a big cable so resistance should be low it's not a massive run well, uh, depending on how difficult it is, I'll take a shower off as well. I always make a note of the shower size as well on the certificate. Write it down on the, uh, the circuit designation. Cool. Right. 0.17 gel one r two. Um, this is the shower circuit. I I imagine it'd be absolutely fantastic. Cool. Last one, look at the CPC, happy with that. Right, now I'm left with the lights and then mystery circuit number one. Right, the next circuit is the lights. <clears throat> Both of them were in the same fuse. I think that, I bet they were, which is why we had two, two five amp uh, fuses, fuse carriers. <clears throat> I reckon they were downstairs and upstairs lights and something happened here and or maybe someone installed a shower that actually that's probably what it is that looks newer doesn't it someone's horsed it in the top rather than down the back someone installed a shower and then just put both the lights on one circuit but i'll have a look check both of them uh so make sure there's no shared uh, neutral and perhaps when the upgrade goes in or they go for it, um, we can split them upstairs and downstairs rather than have them all on one circuit. But let's see. Common issue with pendants, switch rail line is not uh, identified and the flex normally showing past the, uh, the cover. I can see here the cord grip has broken off which if that was in and the neutral was wrapped around, it would probably hold it up. Yeah, I've got two cables, two CPCs, loop, switch line, not identified as brown, and neutral. And actually, upon closer inspection, it looks like that is actually, if you see there, that's actually, there is, that is the CPC. It's just been sleeved <laughs> with, black they've just used some sleeving or the basic insulation of a neutral conductor off of another cable to sleeve that 
up as, as earth.